one more thought about if not now, when Hillel's great dictum. Uh, it applies as well to somebody who comes with a specific request for aid and assistance. Uh, King Solomon says in Proverbs, do not say to your neighbor, go and return and tomorrow I will give. So somebody comes for a favor or to borrow something or somebody comes for a donation. Uh, one's not permitted to, one should not procrastinate uh, and uh, deliberately make it difficult for the other person. Uh, because uh, one's concerned that if you're an easy touch, people will be coming to you all the time uh, and your life will become misery, etc. So you just try and put things off and you develop a reputation for being someone who is um, not so easy to tap and so people will stop coming to you. The Talmud tells a, a shocking story about Nahum, who was a great sage. He's riding on his donkey, which is laden with food and provisions. And a poor man appears on the road begging him for something to eat. So the sage says, yes, yes, I'll give you something to eat, but just a moment, wait until I've unloaded my donkey. And so he gets off and he spends a long time because it's a big job to unload this heavily laden beast. In the meantime, the poor man who's asked for some food collapses and dies. So when you're confronted by challenges of this kind, you just don't know how Time is vital, uh, and if not now, when? Uh, really very interesting, before we perform any mitzvah, by and large, there is a, a bracha to be made to sanctify the act in our own minds and to, to hallow it and to show that it's not just an ordinary thing. Uh, and that applies pretty much to all of the mitzvot that we perform, but there's one notable exception, and there is no bracha to be recited before one gives tzedakah, before one gives charity. And the question is why? Because that is a very central mitzvah in our Torah. Uh, in some respects, it's considered to be the equal to all of the other mitzvot put together, and yet no blessing. So one suggestion is that, uh, imagine the following. Uh, a poor man knocks at our door and he asks for a gift of money or some, uh, some food. Uh, and uh, we have to make a bracha, and we can't remember what the bracha is, so we sort of start running around looking for a sidur, uh, and when you find your sidur, you can't remember what page it's on, so you start to page, page through it, leaf through it, etc., until you find the proper bracha, uh, and if you're a little bit more pious and frum, you to suddenly sub decide, I need to wash my hands before I recite a blessing. Uh, so off you go to wa wash your hands, and then you come back and you think, well, I didn't do that properly. I think I need to go and wash my hands again. And so, and repeat it all in the meantime, in the meantime, this poor man who's come and asked for food might have perished on your doorstep. So the sages said, you don't mess around making blessings and being pious when a fellow human being is asking for your help. You just get on and do it. If not now, when? <laughs>